back well the government has unveiled fresh guidelines for determination of place of effective management intent is to target shell companies firms created for retaining income outside india sapna das joins in with all the details on this sapna go ahead hi so this uh, so this uh, notification this guideline has been long awaited uh, it's in place from the assessment year 1718 onwards and uh, the two major takeaways is that the first point of course is that uh, the intent is basically just to target the shell companies uh, you know who retain global income outside india but the place of effective management is uh, on shore so so that's what the real intent is the cbdt has taken enough trouble enough pain to basically point out that this is not targeted against any of the genuine companies having you know active business interests outside india uh, although their management be placed here that's one and second even in terms of the global companies uh, you know who have a business connection here in india or a, or, or a pe presence here in india uh, those companies will also not be targeted by the place of effective management rules so this is an important clarification that has come because the assessment year is just around the corner and a lot of to and fro had happened within the government circles also as to uh, what will be the revised and the final guidelines so that's in place now they should give a lot of relief uh, to international investors also uh companies who have genuine business interests um, uh, outside outside india but are placed uh, you know the the management control is within india